Okay, everybody, welcome back to my uh, part six of the landing craft build. Uh, you can see behind me, I've got my backdrop set up. Uh, I'm already in the process of filming part seven, which will be the last video in this series, and I've been taking pictures of my model. And the reason I've done that is this video is going to probably be 35 minutes long. Uh, part 7 will probably be close to 40 minutes long and I didn't want to put up an hour and 10 or 20 minute video so I decided to split it up and in this video uh, I, I'm just showing you some of the small parts that I had to put together and a couple little things I did little extra stuff I, I, I wanted to do and one of the things was I wanted to make some rivets uh, I felt there was a couple spots on this boat that needed a rivet okay and I know you can go out and buy them uh, I'll, I'll talk about that later in the video but I didn't I didn't want to do that I only needed a few so I thought how can I make my own rivet so I came up with an idea and I don't know if it's original or not honestly I've never seen this done before on YouTube or anywhere uh, I came up with this idea and they turned out great uh, in part seven, I'll have some close-ups of them where they're at, and they're perfect. They, you, you, I couldn't ask for much better. I couldn't ask for if I'd have bought them, they wouldn't have been no better. And uh, I didn't really experiment with sizes because you really have to be careful when you're doing this. Uh, you want to try and remain in scale. So I really only did two different sizes, and I picked what looked good to me what was look good on the model to my eye okay so that's one thing you have to uh, keep in mind when you're doing this so uh, yeah I'm gonna show you how I did that in the process I went through to uh, do a few extra little things to this boat to help set it off a little bit all right uh, to get started here I wanted to I wanted to show you a couple little things little extra things I did um, and I want to show you this first before it dries up and you won't be able to see it. I wanted to put some uh, rivets on here. Uh, extra little rivets here and there where I felt they should be. And I know you can get on the internet and you can buy... Uh, there's, a, there's a company that sells like a, oh, I don't know, 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper with rivets on it and I, I believe they're uh, resin little drops of resin that they put on this stuff and uh, you can buy that and you can put them on wherever you want it looks like a rivet well I didn't want to you know spend the money for it right now because I didn't really need it uh, I forget how many's on a sheet three or four hundred and I only needed ten so I thought well how can I make a rivet? Something that looks like a rivet. This is my Canopy 560 again. That Canopy glue. And you can see them right here. There's one there. One there. One down here. And then there's another one in here. And then if I flip it around, there's four more on the other side. So there's eight all together right up in here and I want to put two more on my uh, on my ramp out here on the outside where these two little cleats are so I want to I'm gonna be putting two more out there so um, these are where the the pulleys are the pulleys for this uh, cable that works this ramp and I've seen a couple pictures. I've seen one picture that shows it pretty good. And yeah, there's there's like a rivet that goes all the way through this outside piece, through the center of the pulley, and to the inside. Now, whether it's a rivet or a nut and bolt, I'm not sure. But I went ahead and, and did like a rivet. Okay. And I've got it sitting on its side because I just put that drop in there. And I wanted it to sit flat so that the uh, little drop wouldn't roll to one side or to the other. Now it's been in there for about 10 or 15 minutes, so I think I can probably give it a little turn now. It's probably set up enough. But if you can see, let me get it down here, right? 
there's the inside okay that's the inside and that's the outside little rivets and the reason I wanted to show that to you right now is because once they dry up they dry clear and they're hard to see but once you paint them it will be there okay now let me show you how I did this okay uh, I was experimenting with this little piece of plastic here all right and I'm zoomed in pretty good so I got to keep watching what I'm doing so I can show you this stuff now this is some of my experimentation right here okay now the top two are two different sizes of drill bits okay I got a different size drill bit over here and a different size drill bit over here and the top two are that canopy glue then I thought I'd try some super glue see how that worked well you can see what it did to the surrounding plastic and it really didn't stay in the hole and I'll show you I drilled a little hole to do this it didn't really stay in the hole because it was so watery it had too much flow to it and then the uh, bottom two are with five minute epoxy okay and they kind of flowed out a little bit out of the hole also okay so let me get this in view here there we go alright so the first thing I did was take a little drill bit alright now like I said I, I experimented with two different sizes uh, the first the smaller drill bit was a 360 force and the one I decided to go with is a 1 16th so that's a 1 16th inch drill bit I got in there okay and I just took and started me a hole but I do not go all the way through the plastic now this is the way I done it uh, I did not drill all the way through the plastic I didn't want that uh, glue to go through I just wanted it to lay on top so I got me about halfway through it and I got a nice little hole started okay Let me bring this up here see if you can see it again right there got me a nice little hole started okay then I take my five minute or five minute my uh, 560 uh, adhesive or glue canopy glue is what they call it now you could probably use white glue on this I, I didn't try it I just tried three different things like I said uh, this canopy glue super glue and five minute epoxy and this came out the best I got the best results with this all right let me get a little drop on this paper here clean off my cap or the tip okay let me show this to you I just got a little drop on this piece of paper now let me see if I can get this in view again okay this is really tough when you're zoomed in this much to try and get you guys to see something but I got to do this because this is so small all right and like I said I've been using my old blades off of my knife okay because it's got a nice little point on it all right so I just take this and just get me a little drop on the end of this blade then I come along very carefully put that little drop in that hole okay you can see that I put that little drop right in that little hole that I drilled now I want this to be a little bit bigger so very carefully I'm going to add to it just touch it alright and then that gives you a nice looking little rivet right there it's kind of hard to see it but it's it's sitting up you know above the plastic now the problem I had with this when I first did this is that when this dries and it dries clear it also shrinks so when I did it the first time I did it and by the time it dried up and shrunk it was down almost below being flush 
So all I did was come back along and add another little drop to it to bring it back up. And on after the second application, I've got a nice, you can't see it, but there's a nice little bump there where that dried up at. So, I mean, for a cheap, inexpensive way to make a, a rivet, if you only need a few of them, uh, that worked for me. Um, like I said, I didn't practice or experiment with a whole bunch of different types of glue. I only did three different types, uh, this canopy glue, super glue, and five minute epoxy. And I got the best results with that canopy glue. Okay, now if you happen to have that Gator's Grip, that would probably work the same. That's pretty much the same formula almost, I think, as that stuff. But this has, uh, oh boy, I don't know what the word is for it, but it, it, it's got enough consistency to it that when you put that little drop there, it doesn't run out. It doesn't spread out. It holds, it, it holds that little drop, whereas uh, Super Glue was just too runny. And too liquefied that it just it spread out and you can see what it all did to the plastic there how it uh, got it all white of course that wouldn't hurt nothing if you're gonna paint it but this came out the best so that's what I done that's how I made some rivets uh, had I decided to go along and put that armor plating on the side uh, like that's on this ship here or on this boat I got that armor plating that I said was added later on in some of these models. Uh, there's rivets all along here, okay? There's probably a hundred rivets right in this side. I would have bought that sheet, okay? If I was going to do something like this, yeah, I would have bought that sheet. Uh, I think, I believe the way they make theirs is on like a decal material and you cut off you cut off uh, however many rivets you need and you put it on like a decal. You don't have to put each individual one on. You can put on a, a big long line of them together. Uh, yeah, I would have probably bought that and I still might because I got a couple other ships coming along that yeah, I'm going to probably experiment with that. But to just do uh, to just do 10 of them like I did here uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to go with my method. Now, once this dries up, and you'll know when it's dry because they're clear, uh, I'll probably come back along and put another little dot on there. Okay? But that's where those pulleys are. Right there. And I figured there had to be something through there to hold them pulleys in place. And I did see one picture uh, where you could see a ribbon on the outside. So, uh, that's how I did that. All right, let's jump right along here. Get this out of the way. Um, let's get into this. My little nameplate. Let me back out a little bit. This is really tough. Okay, that ain't much, but it's something. Um, little nameplate for the for the ship that they give you. Okay. And uh, that goes in the stand here, something like that, you know. Uh, I had that raised lettering on there, and you know, you, I wanted to uh, highlight it. So all I did was take a, uh, once I got this painted, this is all painted up, ready to go. I just took a Sharpie and very carefully just went over that raised lettering with a Sharpie and that's what you get okay and it's on both sides oh that side's upside down um, but yeah that, that worked real easy a little sharpie okay takes care of that uh, I did my life preservers or uh, life, uh, life rings whatever you want to call them got them painted up now I noticed um, from some pictures, uh, a lot of times you'll see a life ring on a boat and they're painted red. Uh, I've got some pictures where these were a dull color, so I just painted them the same color as the ship, okay, and then put them little white rings around them because I do have a picture of that. Let me let me show you this. 
if I can find it real fast here. Uh, this picture is a little, well, I don't want to say disturbing, but, you know, there's some wounded guys on the boat, you know. But what I was looking at was the little life preserver right over there. You can see that. Okay, so it's a dull color, probably painted pretty, a canvas or something, I don't know. But I just went, you know, same color as the boat, and then painted them little white rings. Okay, and then I, I left that, I talked about in the beginning, I was going to take that artificial rope off that they had on there with plastic. I left it on there, and I just painted it uh, kind of a rope color. It was a brown, I don't remember which brown. So that's how I took care of them. Then I did my little fire extinguisher. Alright. And that's about the only thing on this whole ship, other than the, the boxes and that that go in there, that's got any kind of color to it. Most of the ship is just either, it's either going to be a black bottom and, and uh, the color I decide to paint it. And that's about it. You know, there's not a whole lot of color. And then you throw in this little fire extinguisher uh, with some color and the little life rings with some color but uh, there's three different colors there uh, there's two parts it takes two parts to make this and I got red black and silver and I just had to sit there with the smallest paintbrush that I got and and paint that and then that goes inside this little piece here glues to the inside of one of them bulkheads and then this sits down inside of that just like that so it will look like that when it's finished and get some light on it or get my hand behind it there we go all right uh, my 30 cows I got them done they just got to be glued on um, I painted the little shields okay painted them little shields the same color as the boat okay now I left the guns black let me get my hand behind this see if it shows up a little better and you can see I did the handles I did a brown color there I don't know if it's showing up for the handles but those turned out pretty nice I'm really pleased with them okay uh, what else I got here? Okay. Um, a while back, I had ordered, you know, I, I ordered some stuff from that uh, model flags over there in England. And I, they got a lot of stuff. And when I was building my uh, Batmobile, I ordered some gauges. All right? they, they sell these gauges. And they're in three different colors. Kind of a bronze color up on top, black, and silver. And there's all different sizes. There's, you know, uh, probably about basically four different sizes. Large, medium, uh, probably three different sizes and small. Okay. So what I done was I took the smallest ones in the black. And, uh, and that would be these right here. Where are we at? Right there. I took the smallest ones in the black and they were too big so uh, and I tried cutting them out with a pair of scissors forget it you're not gonna cut a round circle with a pair of scissors this small uh, so once again I went to my hole punch okay and you can see I got one out of here I pretty much centered it up on on the gauge right there and punched it out punched out the center of that gauge all right and I only did three of them uh, there, there wasn't a whole lot of room for this so I only went with three but uh, this here is what I wound up with you can see them three little gauges right there let me get some light on them okay so that was a little extra something I did too now I'm, I'm not a hundred percent happy with these okay but I, I think I'm gonna leave them on there 
And the reason being <coughs> is these are stickers. They're not a decal. That's a sticker. So you've got a little bit more thickness there than a, a, a decal. But at the same time, you know, you've you got a little bit of a raised gauge there. So I think they came out halfway decent. I wish you could. I haven't got the camera over that far. Can't get the right amount of light on it. So I think they came out halfway decent. Not 100% satisfied with them. But they will, they will work. I think they'll get it. You know, it's going to be down inside that, that ship anyway. Uh, I don't think you're really going to be seeing them all that well. Let me see if I can bring this over here. Oh, another thing is I, I went ahead and uh, reshot the black. Got that redone. So the black on the bottom is all finished. And the reason I went with black is, once again, I watched that movie, Away All Boats. And they got real good close-ups of them up on the uh, deck of that ship. And they do have a black bottom. So, you know, once that's in there, it's kind of hard to see down in there and, and see them gauges. But they're there. You know, I, I'm, I think I'm going to leave them. I'm satisfied with them. Yeah, you, you can't really see that. You know, with the shadow that's being cast and everything, it's, uh, it's a little difficult to see them down in there. So that's what I went with. I'm still holding off on putting this in because I still do not have this painted yet. I got to get this all painted inside. So, uh, and and this is the reason why I I decided to go with two extra videos because I wanted to show all this little stuff and uh, show you the progress I've been making. It now it's just a, a matter of putting everything together. Um, you know, getting my guns on there, the fire extinguisher on there, uh, some rope around the uh, the outside of it. Uh, where's it at? I also got this little thing here that operates the, the ramp, I believe. I got to get that in there. But I, a lot of this stuff has to be weighted, or uh, has to wait until I paint the, uh, get the basic coat of the ship on there. Um, so, and another thing here, I decided uh, the ship itself. Over the boat. You know, I got all these little parts that go in here. Let me uh, let me get them. Okay, so here I am. Uh, so showing up. All these little pieces that go in here. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I didn't know what these little boxes were. I didn't, had no idea what they were. I thought maybe, well, maybe they're ammo boxes. Okay, well, an ammo box, from what I remember, was like a you know the dull green color or whatever you want to call it so I wasn't sure what these were so I just went ahead and painted them a dull green you know and they got a place for a couple of these to sit in here alright I don't know that's showing up but um, I'm not gonna glue this stuff in um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave, just set it in there because it's in there pretty good it doesn't need to be glued in and I'm gonna just set it in there for display and if I decide later on to get me a small Jeep or something to put in here, then I can pull that stuff out. Uh, looks okay, you know, the way it is now with nothing else in here. But if I do, like I said, get a, a Jeep or something, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that stuff out of there. Most of it anyway. So uh, that's my plan there. And like I said, I'm going to display this with, the, uh, with my ramp up. So if I do get a Jeep, it might have to slide back in there more, and this stuff might be in the way. So, all right, so the next thing I got to do is uh, trying to wait on these little uh, dots to dry up. Okay, on my uh, canopy glue there, I can see they're starting to dry because they'll go to clear when it, when it does dry. And I can see it looks like they are shrinking up a little bit, so I'll be coming along and probably putting another little dot on them to raise them back up get them where I want them and then once that dries then I can paint it so uh, I think in the meantime while I'm waiting for that very carefully 
I'm going to go ahead and get my little cleats on on the outside. Got six of them to get on there. And uh, because that's all going to be painted the same color as the boat. And uh, I think that's about it. Once I get this, I'm going to paint this like in two stages. I think that's the best way to go because I have to get down inside. I have to try and get paint down inside all these ribs. So that means I'm going to be doing a lot of shooting at different angles. And I don't want to load up, like I said before, the whole side of this boat with paint. So I'm going to tape off this top half and shoot this top half first. And then I'll come along once that dries for a couple days and then tape that off and then do this bottom part right down in here. Okay, from about here down to there. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot for me to try and get all that paint down in there. And that's another problem I, you know, I've got. Let me talk to you about this paint. Um, I've already shot this one part. It's already been painted. Uh, Without having an air gun, a little airbrush, I should say, uh, it's hard for me to, to, to mix paint. I can't mix paints. So I have to rely on what's available in a spray can. Okay? So I'm looking for, you know, I noticed that a lot of the pictures of this thing, uh, today's pictures of the, of the models that, are, that people have rebuilt, uh, and what was in that movie too? It was also the same thing in that movie. Let me get a picture of it here for you. They're like a, uh, it's it's almost a real light blue, okay. And for me to go over to the hobby store and, and, and root through and pick out what I think is a light blue, like this one right here that I bought for the uh, Dresden. And get this let me get this in some light here so you can see these colors okay I thought that was going to be dead on well when I paint, sprayed that on the Dresden that turned out to be uh, gray uh, uh, you know it is called a haze gray but I mean it was it was a darker gray than what that cap is you know so this is tough to do to go over there and try and pick out a color that oh well that looks pretty good and then it turns out it's way off so what I was doing was, uh, I was over there and I saw this um, intermediate blue, and this is by Model Master, okay? Now if you look at this cap, alright, that looks like a real dark blue, okay? So I thought, well, what the heck, Why, you know, what else I got to do? Let's try that. You know, I got to spend all my money on this paint. I could not find a light gray. The, the hobby stop I, shop I go to has Model Masters, Tamiya, and uh, Testers. And out of all three of them, I could not find a real light gray. And I know Tamiya makes one because I looked at their color chart, but the hobby store didn't have it. So I picked this here, Intermediate Blue. Okay, that is number 1920 from Model Masters. Okay. And I sprayed that on a piece of scrap plastic, and sure enough, it's got a little, it's a fairly light shade of blue. Not very light, but light enough for me. And so that's what I decided to go with, this right here. This has been painted already. This is ready to go. Uh, I do have a little bit more work to do on the throttle, but um, yeah, that's going to be the color of my ship right there. Okay, and get it out here where you can see it. And for for you to pick up the subtleness of these colors on this is, is pretty hard. But what I'm getting at is, man, I tell you what, I've, I've gone through so many different cans of paint trying to find the right one. And then here I go over there and I find one that looks real dark. It's a, it's a blue, intermediate blue, but it looks kind of dark. And I thought, well, I'll try it. And then it turns out to be a halfway decent color. Okay? It's not too bad. You can pick up that tinge of blue in it. So, you know, like I said, for me to do painting, it, it, it's a chore. Because i got to do mine with these little cans. Uh, 
that's why I, I can't I can't wait to get us a house so I can get get me an airbrush and I can mix my own colors be a lot cheaper you know than buying them little bottles instead of these cans hopefully I can get this uh, ship or this little boat out of this one can I hope and I can do it so okay well that's just you know a couple of little problems I, I run into with this I thought I'd let you know so you know you just got to play around with it these uh, these caps uh, you know the this looks much much lighter than that and it's not so you just uh, it's a matter of trial and error and then once you find one you better write it down that's the color you like because that turned out pretty decent I think I'm gonna go with that that's the lightest shade I could find that it, that's gonna please me okay so I think uh, I think that's pretty much it for this week uh, I think I hit on everything that I can think of so let me see this let me bring this back over here see how we're doing I keep hitting that ramp with it down yeah I can see uh, I can see this one right in here you're not going to see it it's starting starting to shrink down okay it's drawn down I think let me see that this one up here is too it's almost flush so I think I'm going to go ahead here and hit them with another little dab of this uh, canopy glue and bring that back up to where I want it and then we'll see what we got tomorrow I'm going to have to let this dry overnight before I go touching it okay well I appreciate you watching again uh, like I said uh, one more video I think video 7 is going to be it and uh, I'll have it all together I'm going to get this painted this week and uh, start putting everything together so that's it thanks for watching